Welcome to the Kendi and Rabo podcast, sponsored by Maeve's Bar Sligo. We're back. We're not only back, but we're back in business and we're back with some guests. And we have Bob Coggins. Bob Coggins. From the White Hag Brewery is here. Coggins. Now, we'd start off by very briefly explaining why you're actually here. Yes, Bob. Not for the people out there. No. Because Ray told me nothing. Oh, right. So I, yeah, I don't know. I said Bob was coming. Yeah. yeah. I said so. I met, I met Ray outside Matt Lyons this on Saturday. Right. And I says to him, uh, I must give you a couple of cans yeah. of the beer for the podcast because we have a special beer coming out for Paddy's Day. Yes. And I says, uh, I'll give you a couple of cans and you can shite on and talk about it. Yeah. He said, shite on. Would you drop the... Oh, drop that's exactly what we do, Red. That's I, perfect. Yes. I listened to the podcast before. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I says, uh, I says, sound, I'll, uh, I'll drop them up. He says, tell you what you do. Come up yourself with the cans and she'll come in and tell them about it. I no. don't remember it happening like I think, that. I think, well, that's now... I, it, it, well, that's putting a lot of the I skipped responsibility some detail on the first part. <laughs> <laughs> I skipped enough detail yeah, on the first did, bit. Yeah. <laughs> to, to allow you. Uh, sorry, I was picking some fluff <laughs> off yeah, Ray's yeah, eyes. Yeah, yeah. So you're here to show us why I'm, the new well, White Hag I'm not really sure why I'm here, but I have the beer here, yeah. I have now, a green, this I have is a, a special beer, beer. Now, the last beer, hmm, the last beer that I tasted belonged to you. We, oh, we spoke about this. Bob, I'm so sorry. He has no filter. I don't know what he's going to say here now. He's probably going to call it It was the worst thing I've ever tasted or something. It was the strongest thing I ever tasted. Oh, thank God. It was the Ukrainian beer. Oh, the Ukrainians the are strong, the right. yellow. Yeah, yeah. And mother of God, I, I now know how they're holding out against the Russians because <laughs> Christ above, I, I drank half a tin of it and I was loopy. <laughs> that, that was the day. Remember the, pe- the podcast that I thought you and Brendan was ganging up me on? Oh, yeah, we had I, to cancel that I, episode. No, we didn't cancel. We had to take a break to try and restore our friendship. Is that because the But Ukrainian it was because beer? I realised that after, the Ukrainian beer made me all paradise. So what percentage... <laughs> What percentage is this beer? Yeah. <coughs> this beer is only 4.5%. Ah, that's not but too bad. Challenge, the challenge, the challenge, so what are we dealing with? The we, challenge you have in odd time is that there's an odd beer that you might make that regularly yeah. and the ABV might go up and down a wee bit. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. now, I would not, I'm not claiming anything <laughs> illegal. Right, but yeah, it, it went over twenty percent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you're using a spoon, yeah. you, know, you know that there's a dais and a bit of strength yeah. in it, right? So uh, you, you said you mentioned that that was, had a, had some ill effect on you. No, it's some just, good effects uh, as it's, well. It's savage, but just not in the ro- in what I was doing with it at the time. I was trying mm. to be coherent and and on Friendly. the ball and witty, yeah, yeah, and yeah. instead I turned into someone else. Well, you drank church six cans of it now. That's all as a help. So, so no matter what percentage it was, but it was fantastically tasty, and I want to have it in a, in a safe environment from now on it's very tasty but yeah. yeah but there's a good bit of strength to strength. it so this yeah, is yeah, yeah. green pale ale so this is green pale ale this is so every year right we make a beer for Paddy's Day a special beer and we, we did a couple of green beers in for a couple of years and we try and do something which mimics a food right so we w- the first year we made shamrock shake you know the Mac- uh, McDonald's oh, yeah. right? we yeah, made yeah. a shamrock shake beer we made it thick with lactose so it was like creamy yeah and we put mint in it right. and with a lot of food colouring and Sure as hell, it was a green beer to taste it like a milkshake. What are the ingredients in the green beer, Mark? Uh, this year, alcohol and green. Yes, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. two yeah. ingredients. It's actually it's green alcohol. Green. We yeah. this year. <laughs> yeah. So is this green? If I pour this out, this is green. The idea of bringing the glasses along is so that the two I, glasses. I understand you got, now why we got glasses. Now Sorry, I didn't now, get that. Like a, <laughs> Now, you'd know you're just used to the podcast. No, don't pour it yet. I want him to tell me about it. So this, it's called it's This called is not serpent. Ireland AM. What's uh, it supposed to this, taste like and look like? So it's it's a New Zealand pale ale in style, right? So the style is actually very light and drinkable. New yeah. Zealand pale ale being, it's we use New Zealand hops, uh, Motueka and Nelson Sauvin, right? Which right. are very tasty, slightly kind of... Do you uh, get it from New Zealand? We get the hops from New Zealand, yeah. It's green. The, the hops. It's green beer. It is green beer. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God, it's actually <laughs> fully green. <laughs> this is the idea. It's now, alcohol and green. It is. And also, give it a smell. I should have got you to smell it before No, I'm getting it. it. I'm smelling Ireland off but it. But it smells, it it smells, smells like grass smells, and It actually bog. smells like little fire. <laughs> it smells like home it smells and like misery. Home and misery. It smells, and misery and it smells like debt in 2009. <laughs> it smells like R.I.P. that I eat. The smell of misfortune off that. <laughs> Jesus, the one after seeing on the internet there this oh. evening. One, you're one that senator uh, from, uh, from Mayo... She, she was on RIP.E something like 8,000 times sending commiserations oh for funerals God. she didn't go to, no. she was going to funerals digitally <laughs> she, had, she actually had it farmed um, out to a company in India who were just doing it for yeah. her <laughs> <laughs> yeah, funeral bot that's a funeral bot <laughs> Stop, no, I can't, I can't I. comment on such things. Uh, yeah, Ray is mm. a member of the government. government and yeah, uh, department of government. Come here. Now, yeah. cheers. White Hag, the Serpent's Green the serpent, Beer. Green, green Pale Ale. Now, we're, yeah. we're very honest. Yeah. yeah. So, so you're honest kind of lads. No, if no, I, I don't like this, you, I should have got you. you to taste it before you see it. Because looking at it, it doesn't look appetizing at all. It looks like mouthwash. Right? It does but, look oh, like mouthwash. But drink when mouthwash. you drink it, close your eyes. Okay. Close your eyes and, and, think, and think, of our, think of our Lord. Okay. Think of St. Patrick. In the year oh of 300 or whatever year he was about. 
1992. How tasty is that? Oh my God. How good is that? It's lovely beer. It's lovely beer. You don't taste the green at so, all. So the thing is, the thing is, the <laughs> trick was, right, I went up to a fella, went up to Belfast two weeks ago and we gave, I had a couple of pilot cans and I gave it to a lad in the bar. Yeah. He was getting our green beer this year. I said, have you, yeah, a can of it there, throw it up there and he grabs it, opens it, tucks a big slug out of it and goes, you're better green and nice. <laughs> <laughs> Because yeah, the last did, two wouldn't have been great. Did then. you did you also make an orange beer if you're selling up that direction? Because you can't just go up there mm. now just selling green. Look what's up beside you. Oh, no <laughs> way! <laughs> I knew you'd ask that. Really? Yeah. Riley. Oh, he's so on the ball. Pull yeah. up that one, Pull up that one there. Pull up that one there. Pull up. Let me write show that. What if you do, if you mix the green and orange, you, you get, get a conflict. Fucking, you get a super <laughs> split. Oh, yeah. You get, our, you get a, what, what did you used to call them? Uh, you got sectarian uh, vibes is what you get. Ha- you'd have a Mondoran and Chasing Bull. Um, uh, used to make it out of, oh. a, out of a bottle of WKD and a bottle of Bricardi Breezer and a oh bottle of... Oh, my God. Oh, it was wild fat stuff. Frog. Fat Frog. No, was it? No. no, it was like a Fat Frog. It was, it was two, three bottles made two pints and then made you sick. That's I basically what it is. what it was called. Show me this Anyways, one. This Show me super this one. Split. But, what but I might do is absolutely polish this way and then pour that one into yeah, this yeah. one. Then this is very as polishable. Well. Oh, as, as I was po- just going to say it's super light. Yeah, you know, as, as furniture juice goes, it's very polishable. Fur- <laughs> and, furniture juice? <laughs> Why do you call it furniture <laughs> juice? Yeah, because it's very good for polishing. Uh, <laughs> But, but it's it. but it's it's uh, it, it's bright green, right? So the the whole ambition is right. You go into a bar and it's pouring in Dublin Airport at the moment. The first person that buys it lifts it up, takes a swig out of it, and everyone else goes, "What the? What's that? What is that? Yeah, I love one of those, please." And, and then and then it's and can you itself. get it in Dublin Airport? It's in Dublin Airport in, beside Gate One Hundred Five. We have a bar there, the Ryanair Gate. The Ryanair Gate. I know the one. You know the one. I've Who has a bar there? They've got two gates there. I've got actually forty of them. We have a bar there, a White Hag Tap and Brew. It's called. Yeah. Yeah, we've a partner bar there, and we've a load of beer. In it. You wouldn't know because you don't go very many places. No, I'd be trying to avoid uh, anywhere in the world <laughs> usually, especially on a Ryanair flight. But Any, <laughs> anywhere in the world. Yeah, I like to avoid it. kind of You'd anywhere, but. Sligo. Yeah. Uh, um, th- this is like are you could genuinely. You're onto a winner way? here. Yeah. So th- what's happening is so it, there was in fairness, there was a couple of bars started pouring it last weekend for the rugby, mm-hmm. and sure, th- it was flying out in Dublin. Yeah. So we're uh, yeah, we're, it's, it's it's sold out. Right, we've sold. We've sold four batches of it, so like how many? Twelve cans kegs. in each batch. Oh, sorry, oh, just f- kegs, kegs. How would you make it green? Take the water from the Garavogue River. Shamrocks in it. And, I yeah. have an image in my head now of when I see a pub. Most people are drinking either something that is goldy coloured mm-hmm. or black. Yeah. Right? It's, it's one or the other. Yeah. You obviously be in Egypt with your brown pint of Guinness or Smithix is like Smithix. No, Smithix. I used to drink Smithix, yeah. Or red. Red, yeah. yeah. But it's usually gold, yellow but stuff. Do you the, make red stuff in, in... We do, yeah. Do you? Oh, yeah. Red. The revolutionary Rouge, idea, though, of people standing round <laughs> with pints of green. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And what, it's revolutionary marketing. I tell you, we have a pink one as well, the Puka, which is a sour beer, which is... A really interesting concept. Into there's no hops in it, so it's it's flavored by fruit and yeah. like ginger and lemon and hibiscus berries, and it's and it's sour. It's bitter. It tastes like San Pellegrino without any sugar in it, oh, right? Lovely. But but it's very refreshing. People who don't drink beer would easily drink that. If you drink cocktails or you drink yeah yeah uh, mixed drinks or you drink wine, you drink that. How many how many beers do you brew out there? Like oh, we're constantly changing, constantly inventing yeah. new ones. We've probably done about 150 different beers. What's the biggest one? Uh, big, is it Little Fawn? Big, big little Fawn. Big, little Fawn is the biggest vol- by volume, for sure. Yeah. By a long yeah. shot. But there's, a, there's another one then that I like as well, but I can't remember the name of it. Yeah. Oh, that's good. You must drink. really like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you must be big. Well, I know do you remember, the look do you remember your wife's name? I know the look <laughs> of the can. <laughs> you're the one I like a lot. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a married to you. You're my favourite. See what you do with things you like. It's like my favourite tooth. (laughs) By the way, speaking of my favourite, just to catch everybody up before the podcast, I was told today that I I have a sick tooth. It's dying apparently in my head from drinking green beer. And and. (laughs) <laughs> it's dying and I have to get a root canal and it's going to cost me a fortune but I'm just wondering he also put me on several antibiotics and painkillers how does your green beer interact with such things? Oh, it, Any it, research it's actually, no, no, it's very. No, we've, we've done the research oh. yesterday we did it so <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, I can expect Huge the, study. I, we're expecting the uh, the results back after St. Patrick's Day <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> right okay <laughs> but shouldn't be too late at that stage because that's the thing <laughs> do you only brew a certain amount of this because it's going to go St. Patrick's Day like as oh Jesus yeah you know like oh, you're yeah, not, yeah. this is no, going to no. be a year round no, no we, we we started so we started brewing this we brewed the first batch in November oh, and right. we were brewing it right up until um we packaged the last ba- batch of it last Friday uh but you'd only brew it for yeah or to order how really. many liters thousands that's kind of an odd question now why would you want to know no how because many you, That's because a question though at the same time it's about about twelve thousand liters I'd say what the fuck? yeah it's about, about twenty five thousand pints do you ever consider Jesus. the damage you do to everybody it's like. not damage it's not, it's damage, not damage, damage. Do you imagine the fun 
that they would not have. Yeah. If okay. they didn't have green beer okay. or beer. Just imagine the void, the vacuum of crack, <laughs> the crack vacuum without But can you imagine how much cleaner toilets would be without the beer? Listen, can, no. yeah, can, really? can you imagine you wouldn't need toilets? Can we just talk about this for one sec? Me and Ray both work in the nighttime economy, <laughs> economy yeah. ed- entertainment business, and Ray yeah. is going... I wonder, can we stop everyone drinking? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. There's no. three of us here that rely no. on everyone drinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and Ray's yeah, yeah. kind of questioning it. Like, <laughs> I wonder, can we do something maybe to stop people drinking? Re- That's I'm a good someone. point. Do you do any non-alcoholic stuff? We do, actually. Do you know oh, what? Do you, I, yeah. do you know See what? where I was going there now? I, I have. We, we, did a, we did a non-alcoholic pilot beer uh, for, for, for people who fly planes. For pilots? <laughs> He's straight in out here. Yeah. The first joke of the podcast. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we, Love we, finally we, someone told a joke. Oh. We, did, you ever, did you ever hear that? I caught this girl out lovely one day, one night above in Carrick and Shannon going from Rock and Robins and we're going back into, um, we're going from Carrick out to Rock and Robins and she was down from Dublin like and she was down cruising on the Shannon and oh, yeah. I had to sit in beside her because there was no space anywhere else sure. and sit in. She goes, uh, and uh, you, you like live down here in Leitrim or are you uh, I said, uh, I live out the far side of Glengiven. <laughs> she says, you, you, you live where? I said, I live out the far side of Glengiven. And she said, what, what, do you, what do you do down here? I said, I'm a pilot. She says, you're, you're, you're a pilot? You're an actual pilot? Uh, I said, I'm, yeah, I'm a pilot. Oh, where... Where, where do you where do you fly? Fly? No, I, no, I work out in Kerrigan's quarries. What, what a quarry? What would you be? How? Why would you be a pilot out there? I'm and let's bring in the stone to me, and I pilot. <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 she nearly had to get out of the bus. At this stage, the whole bus was was on my side. I, thought. I was losing my mind there when you said uh, it, when you said you worked out the quarry. I was going. I'm not great with jokes, <laughs> but Christ above, when you said I work, I said, oh, I'm not getting this. I started panicking in my head. Oh, and this is going to be the worst joke That's ever because I don't get it. And I laugh. Come here, I'm going to polish it off. I'm going to, is this orange? That's Actual orange. orange. It comes out orange. So, so, so it's orangey. It'll be yellowy orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be yellowy orange. Is you're fairly putting them in tea, fair play tea. Look at him with the hand. <laughs> no, you want to tell me <laughs> on the drink, is it, chap? Yeah? <laughs> you stupid, the two e. Pair of wankers, what's, what's the two e. You're telling me about how to drink, is it, chap? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you're genre bars, the two e. But, but you know something? I, I didn't believe when Ray says, I will have a couple of drinks at the podcast. I says, there's no way on a Tuesday evening they're going drinking. Oh man, I yeah. drink almost all of the hours. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm only be- Look at that, Ray. We, it, Give me a right look at that. Now, see, it's very, it's darker now, but it's no, it's probably seven or eight months oh, old. I wish now. I'd left more in it's, this. It's so a summer could... beer. That's nice. You know, make, yeah. make novelty beers, really, and fundamentally, make novelty beers to get people into beer. Yeah. You know, to get people to get attention for your brand and get people to come in and go, Jesus, actually, that, that tastes nice. So, someone who won't drink a big IPA will drink a super split because they ate them when they were young fellas. Yeah, my worry. Oh um, my God, that is a super split. <clears throat> isn't it a super split? It's a super Vanilla split. and orange. Yeah. So I, I'll be fully so honest simple. with you, right? Well, I'm going well, to I was hoping you'd be honest. And let you know. You can come in here to get lied to. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a fucking you're podcast, dead, is it? right. No, we're not, not lying. No. What's the kind of cream taste in the background? That'll be a cream. Is it actually? Yeah. Vanilla, vanilla, is it, yeah. little, little bit of lactose milk. It does taste like a super split, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. If they're Back very to the non-alcoholic stuff. Um, we, will you stop plugging? We made an, al- an alcoholic one for uh, to trial to see if we could make it, and I'm actually bringing a batch of it to Copenhagen this weekend because they yeah. asked me specifically to bring along. Uh, yeah. but we're actually sponsoring. This is hard to fathom. We're sponsoring a big Irish festival in the middle of Copenhagen in the square on Sunday where they're having a big stage, Irish musicians and dancers and all that crack and a bar to one side of it and we're yeah. all of the bar and they said bring along a Kong, bring along a couple of non-alc beers because there'll be a couple of ads there now that probably either shouldn't we'll be or driving. won't be, we'll be driving. That's, yeah. that's yeah. all we'll you need dr- to say. Yeah, yeah, there'll yeah, be we'll a few lads there now that drive. obviously to get to the thing. And they need to drive home again and they need to bring yeah. all the rest of yeah. us and then so bring 24 cans for them and then bring 30 kegs for the rest of us. <laughs> That's I was kind like, of the ratio. The, the balance. I've the, the ratio. ratio. <laughs> that's the ratio. <laughs> that's 24 cans. Have you ever, have you ever been to Copenhagen? Jesus. Oh my. So, so are you in Copenhagen for Paddy's Day? I'm in Copenhagen for Paddy's Day. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, coming on Monday. Yeah. A Jesus. big question. Yeah. If if I was listening to this podcast okay. now on Saturday, right? The day, the St. Patrick's Day Eve. Yes. You should, yeah, yeah, and yeah, I be wanted old. a green beer. Where, in Sligo, for starters, would you get them? Obviously, you could tip out to Ballymote. It's an industrial estate. You go in, you knock on the big roller door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's his name, Answers? Mooch. Mooch, Mooch. Can I get, can can I I get, get some green beer? You won't do that on Saturday. On okay. Saturday, you'll go down to Thomas Connolly's. Okay. And you'll get, you'll get a pint of it or two of it. Yeah. You'd get one in uh, Fury's, get, into Stevie get, and Fury's. But would you get it in our sponsors in the Garvog Vogue or Maeve's? Maeve's will have it. They Thank actually, you. They're getting it right now. Talk about other pubs I've, like. I've, I've, yeah. <laughs> We're sponsored by Maeve's. You're after hanging us out with When did Maeve's sponsor you? And did you not put up a sign or something? We beeped the shite out of those other two bars. Yeah. 
It's not easy selling beer in, in Sligo, but I tell you. Uh, but the, there's a couple of great bars. Breeze will have it, but Maeve's actually have it pouring from this evening. Because uh, Paul went in with it this evening. He'll be pouring it. But Maeve's a great bar. I was in there watching the rugby yeah. on Saturday. Oh, it's unbelievable, isn't it? It's a great like, bar. Like, they've actually turned it into a... I don't want to mention other pubs in Sligo, but there's other pubs who have teamed themselves to look like pubs. Oh, right? Yeah. Inflammatory. It's very... It is actually a lovely pub. pub. It's a grub, great like, pub. So in Maves, you said there they're pouring it. Is it is it in cans or is it on a no, tap? Pouring it on tap. Yeah, you're joking. It's, it's on, on tap. tap. It'll be on tap. It'll be pint. It'll be pints all over the place. Go I tell away. you, there's, there's 15 places in Copenhagen pouring it over the weekend. That's brilliant. We, we're doing a, t- a tap take over Copenhagen. There'll be there's a place called the Shamrock Inn in Copenhagen, which yeah. is a, which is like what you said. You know, a classic Irish bar, yeah. but also craft beer. Modern beer, yeah. contemporary kind of approach, right? And there's a guy called Nisha McNamara runs it, and he does that Guinness and and Smithix and and you know one or two classic Irish beers, and he does a big. He has five of our stuff on tap Go all ahead, the time, yeah. five, which is amazing. Outside of Ireland, have five of your beers pouring in any one pub, you know? Yeah. And um, he's kind of seen as a lighthouse for Irish. Barkeep in, in, in Denmark yeah. And uh, people go see what he is on Copy what he's yeah. on So um, I've sent him out Rake t-shirts and Bunting and all that is, kind of crap Is it hard? Is it hard to sell a drink? Oh, Jesus. When you're not Guinness it. it's, it's, it's hard <laughs> When you're not it's the actually easier, like. It's easier to sell it away It's easier yeah. to sell it outside yeah. of Ireland Than it is at home We have a huge um, Now 60% or 70% of our footprint Is in Ireland okay. Sales wise right So you know, your, your pubs And your the, the airport And, and Lidl Duns, yeah, Foley's and 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 you know off licenses like yeah. that, and then O'Brien's and all that. They all take a lot. Of, you know, they take volume. But when you're going to do the sale, like going into walk into a bar in France, I spent a week in France at the start of January, and you walk in and it's massive welcome for you. You yeah. present your products, and Nothing. I didn't have one person refuse to buy beer. Left friends, and we sent a load of beer to France oh, for yeah. Paddy's there. Yeah, they love it. That's but, brilliant. But uh, but you went to you know some place someplace in Sligo. I was like, mate. Yeah. Hey, hey you want to have, Yeah, you want to have a chat now? I'm telling you one thing. That? I've had Guinness in here now yeah. since 1956. <laughs> I'm not changing. No I way. I we've tried. I've tried in the past. You can sell all the beer you want to people with, you know, one knee in their trousers and half a head of hair and <laughs> and and a tattoo up the rear and, you know, and then yeah. you have to leave the swag man and <laughs> you have to go <laughs> and you have to go and you have to go <laughs> you have to go. Swagman's probably our biggest, our biggest bar in Sligo for doing. Thank volume. God you said that. <laughs> but it's You're well but, saved. But the swag, the swagman has hipsters in, yeah. in, yeah. in en masse, right? Yeah. It, has, yeah. it has people chasing that vibe, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and then you go and you <laughs> yeah. go and you look yeah. for other bars, and then you get to a point where you've gone to all the bars yeah. that would could sell craft yeah. beer. Yeah. And and once every so often you'll go beyond that, right? And you'll try a bar. <laughs> they maybe it's shouldn't shuttle. sell craft beer, you know. Yeah. Jenny's, I, you were in Jenny's. Uh, wasn't stop you? naming every bar in well, the I'm town. Not going, I'm not going to name bars, right? It's unbelievable, and uh, we're never going to be allowed to do another <laughs> podcast again. We're sponsored by a you bar. Can, you can't name bars like Which that. Which he has clearly said is class. Oh. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I, yeah. I've I've never been in Jenny's, but let's say <laughs> let's say hypothetically, if there was a bar called say Larry's Bar, yes, right? would you, you know, sell it in Larry's Bar? I I I tried. I tried. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you? You brave man. First thing, you know, there's a couple of steps in doing that. The f- first thing is actually getting in the door. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How, Having lads how, with you. Who the fuck are you? you safe yeah. when you're in there. You, but you need to look like you belong. Yeah. I didn't look that like. That yellow jumper wouldn't work. I didn't look like. Oh. <laughs> you putting up outside <laughs> your Tesla. It wasn't near enough. With your green beer. It wasn't near enough stains on it. No. <laughs> who the fuck are you? Yeah. <laughs> and I, then there was, I, I was ID'd. Because I looked really out of place, you know, you know, baseball cap and yeah. uh, uh, shorts and that kind of crack. And uh, you were the personification of notions. Notions, notions. Yeah. And uh, oh, what the? Who the? What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, where, where, selling beer. How are you? Give us your ID. So I had no ID. Yeah. So I produced the payslip. Oh. What the fuck is that? <laughs> See, Bob, your, your payslip would be considerably larger than most of ours. Well, the fact that I had a payslip. <laughs> <laughs> That's an odd looking door count. Yeah, yeah, imagine after yeah. pull- <laughs> What the fuck is that? What are you selling, anyways? Yeah. What, are you, what so- are you selling? <laughs> I'm, sell- I'm selling an IPA. An IPA? <laughs> Jerry was in the IPA. <laughs> His name, his name wasn't even Jerry, but he got a skin condition in Termalinus in 1994, and he couldn't shave for two weeks, and he grew a beard, and that's why they called him Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, we're doing the APA. I wasn't, but he blowed the head off you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. It's funny. Out again. It, it's funny around about selling it in in, um, in pubs. I I, we, I did some work for you. We just talked about it before we recorded um, in broadcast in High Extravaganza, which oh, is yeah. your festival every year. Mm-hmm. And what I loved about it was uh, you interviewed like 21, 22 different breweries who yeah. were all yeah, there yeah. doing their stuff. Mm-hmm. And it was like in our industry... Like, let's say if I'm in a wedding band and I invite 22 other wedding bands to come along and tell everyone how great they are. And I just thought, you know what? Isn't it brilliant that there's a community there for beer people who are like, I don't give a shit. You're, you're great and I'm great and we're all great. Yeah, let's yeah, all yeah, sell yeah, beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would yeah. not happen. Can I'm not inviting 22. imagine the wedding band situation for a minute? Yeah. Twi- so you and 22 other wedding bands are in a function room somewhere in Lockerbie. And I'm saying, book all of them, not me. No, no, don't no. be booking me now. Book everyone yeah. else, yeah. you know? Yeah. That's what it was yeah, like yeah, for it was, yeah. Drink their beer. Now, yeah. the only thing is they were international, though. Did yeah. you, you, you had some Irish ones there as well? Yeah, well, we always bring three or four. We always bring three or four small Irish boys along. Get them on the... Man, the yeah, no. bring the small lads along. <laughs> if they succeed, you'll still be able to choke them. <laughs> You're just going, yeah, give me that beer there and I get every <laughs> yeah. ingredient to it. No, do you know what happens? You bring along the, the, the young, keen, young Irish breweries mm. and they latch on to the other breweries and latch on to the distributors. You know, keen, <laughs> keen beery. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> he latches on to other lads and gets a bit of business for themselves and that's mm. kind of what it's about. Yeah. But you're right, you do that promoting them in your country and the, and you go back. I got an email uh, about 20 minutes ago that I was uh, quite unsociably trying to reply to when I was chatting to you there from Yega Wise who's a brewer in the UK and she's on the Saturday morning show the mor- the breakfast show on a Saturday morning where they're, they're oh, cooking and talking a, shite probably ICB on BBC, or some shit. BBC. Yeah, okay. what, okay. Lucian the, ones the, mor- all, the morning the morning mor- this morning this yeah. morning yeah. that morning yeah. Holly which be morning Philip Philip Schofield <laughs> yeah. she not, goes on oh, no, 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 no 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 they're not not him no no have you got the internet have you seen what happened to him what happened Philip Schofield he's a lovely man what did Kate Middleton isn't popular at the moment either I don't know if you've been are not no, about yeah, is she even I around geez, anymore? I think well, she's she might like be Shergar. I think, just, I think she's... <laughs> <laughs> no one knows where the fuck she is. So she's, she's not in Ballinamore, is she? She could really do with coming out with someone getting a snap of her. Because, yeah, because at the moment, like, we're all worried about her safety. We're thinking, oh my God, what happened to her? They put out, yeah, a, yeah, fo- yeah. They put out a photo of her a couple of days ago and it was photoshopped. Oh, she had about eight hands in it. She'd be fake arms, she's but like, it was like an episode of Bad Rich Head. It was like one of those... That's like oh, one of those characters from Street Fighter. Yeah. <laughs> one of her arse is about eight meters long. It was going around the house and everything. It, yeah. it's, people haven't seen her. Like, what the hell is going on? Anyway, she's going to be on this morning with Philip Schofield on Saturday morning, and she was looking for her to put her beer on it. Kate which Middleton. Is, not, the other one. I, I can't remember her name. P- uh, Pippa Sho- Schofield. Pippa's Middleton. Pippa Schofield. P- 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 Pippa you were talking about the lady that's selling the beer is going to be on well, this morning. No, she, she makes the beer, but she's going to be having our beer on. On, but she's the on, one that's going to be in this morning, not Kate Middleton. Not Kate Middleton, no, no. Because no. you got my egg hopes up there now. I thought we were going <laughs> to get some you know closure. What? I'd say a lot of people are hoping that she appears somewhere yeah, on television yeah, over the weekend. So, so, so your beer is going to be on ITV, BBC, or someone It'll be on ITV or BBC or one of those, the English channels, the channels, whatever ones. You know, get the dodgy box. Dodgy box? Nobody gets the dodgy box. No, does that not happen? I don't even know what that is. I paid 240 for Rare done. Rare done. I had a question for rare you. Done, done. On a Saturday when I met you, you said, oh, I'll come on the podcast. I have a great story about the difference between beer drinkers in the North Sligo and the South Sligo. Oh. <laughs> South Sligo drinks Smittix. I couldn't. I couldn't. North Sligo So unless you were inebriated at the wheel. No, 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 no. no. I'll tell you what. what um, uh, it's not so much a, a North Sligo, South Sligo thing. It is pretty much a South Sligo thing, though. It's wh- when we started brewing, and we got the brewery up and running. Yeah, we got broken into. Oh, <laughs> right, right. And the brewery got broken into. Glad you it was, find it so funny. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you'd find it funnier. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a wasted trip having yeah, me on okay. here. So the brewery was broken into, and uh, there was, uh, um, needless to say, thousands and thousands of bottles and, and kegs of beer inside. Yeah. But I'd say whoever broke in mightn't have understood how beer works. Oh. And was possibly looking for Budweiser <laughs> <laughs> and not Imperial Stouts or yeah. Double IPAs or the kind yeah. of stuff that we had in the, yeah. in the fucking brewery. Yeah. Right. So they obviously went around and tasted a few different ones to see which ones to steal and eventually kind of ran out of patience, I'd say, or maybe the alarm was going off and was annoying them. So they ended up grabbing an armful of stuff and, it was, <laughs> right, and started making their way out. Yes. But what we found was that they only got as far as the fence outside and dropped all the beer, <laughs> right? <laughs> Didn't steal any of the beer, right? But they've absolutely fleeced all the toilet roll out of the ah. fence. 
Well, they had one. They had one swig of that beer. They said, "Fuck me, I need that. I need the jacks." Well, exactly. this has been somewhere before COVID when there was a run on toilet paper. I'm talking 2014. I'd say. No, so hang on now a minute. You're talking about your own business with beautiful beers, and you're saying not even no. a fella <laughs> I'd who say, was robbing it with drinkers. What I'd say is that tastes have evolved uh, in the, the 10 well, years since While that opened. or your brewing capabilities <laughs> yeah. have evolved. Well, it's funny. Yeah. No, it is or funny. No, that was before we brewed it. He was just robbing the water. Oh, no. <laughs> Ballymote water. Ballymote water. That'll leave you looking, looking for it, the it toilet funny. It is funny, Bob, you say that, though, because you're brewing your beer in South Sligo, mm. which is very close to Roscommon, where I come from. Mm-hmm. And they're kind of one in the same once you kind of go past Kaludi, I find. They are, yeah, yeah. If the people, I don't want to generalise, but yeah, I'm one of them anyway. Right. But like, it's either, unless you're drinking Smithix or Carlsberg, not, like yeah. even Guinness isn't that big. It's weird, man. There's parts... Of, in Roscommon. Like, there's parts of Roscommon where the, the, it, it's only Carlsberg. Yeah. And then there's parts South of... South Roscommon. I yeah. don't understand Carlsberg drinkers. Do you oh, want, I don't do either at all. I, anybody. I, I don't even see people selling it. I see, like... It's, it's on it's draft, amazing. If you go to Tulsa, Castle don't see it, Plunkett, you don't, Strokestown, they're all drinking Carlsberg. You, yeah, you rarely see it anymore yeah, in places. It's, it's like when you go up the north or you go up to Dundalk and they're all drinking harp. Oh, yeah. Mm. Harp. We're playing a harp yeah, there. there. you go, yeah, They're yeah. all drinking it. Yeah. And so, what, but... What's, what's in that? Uh, there was a very good ad back in the 90s, as far as I remember. And uh, they've hung on to it ever since. The camel, was it? Yeah. Yeah. It was very good. Don't make ads like that anymore. No. But what I was getting at is that you're brewing these wonderful out there beers like when you think of South yeah, Sligo yeah, yeah. coming in South Sligo yeah yeah, and like notions it, no but I wonder <laughs> how you know the real real local local the hardcore. local like, well, it was so Doddy's in Ballymote would sell a load of Little Fawn. The, oh, the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People have taken to it. Then. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Oh pockets of people it, like you'll get pockets in all around the country in Connolly's and Colooney sells Atlantean Right, Atlantean isn't on tap in. That's ten- the one I like. That's the one you like, <laughs> the orangey one. I knew it. Those women were in the net. <laughs> 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 I knew if I kept naming them, we'd oh, eventually. That's great. He has it on draft oh. in Connolly's. There isn't five places in the country pouring Atlantean. It's a New England IPA, really hazy, really orangey, five point four percent. It's fantastic. Beer. Oh, but you like Blue Moon though. Would it be similar it's enough? Kind to that that, kind of that. It's, it's kind yeah, of. But I'm not good at Blue Moon. This no, is where yeah. the Ukrainian beer had a problem. No, with me. we'd, want, we'd sour, want to find yeah. a balance. For you, I insult yeah. your shoes if you if I drink the blue moon. Yeah, so you might be the same on that. <laughs> and where, why you can't lift your silly <laughs> shoes, like. And but I isn't it funny that argument. isn't it funny that all of a sudden that's the one that just kicked off there in that pub? Yeah, oh, that, so he likes it himself, and he pushes it on people, and then people get to like it. Uh, Balasadere, the boys in Balasadere, the uh, Peacock Lane have oh, yeah. uh, Fawn and Ninth Wave. Uh, Breeze is Bre- so Tom and Breeze hmm. does the photography for us, so he gets. The beer before anyone gets the beer, he yeah. he'll have a, he'll the have cans of or have take photos of it, yeah. have a taste of it, and Tom will be always like, "Oh, she's gonna be stick that on," and yeah. he'll have tree lines pouring of our mm. stuff, and and people get around it. Local people get around it and go, "We've a dry stout, exactly the same have as you? the big, the big black one from James's Gate, exactly like it." Right, what's mm. that one called again? <laughs> it's in, it's in, it's in, it's in, it's in <laughs> big black one. James's Gate. What's it called? It's uh, called it's on the beam machine. Uh, something uh, the it's, beam it's, machine. It's uh, a Arthur juice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it's it's in Thomas Conley's. Um, is it? Yeah, it'd be pouring in Thomas Conley's. But it's also pouring in a breeze. The Palace on Fleet Street in Dublin just put in a tap of it alongside. And that's a legendary Guinness house. Yeah. yeah. Porter House in Temple Bar, in the middle of Temple Bar, have it. So we've about 10 or 12 cans around the country have it. But we do we do beers like a, a, a straight up dry stout, straight up lager mm. that anyone can drink. Mm. But it's very hard to compete in that space because yes. Heineken own it and Guinness own it. Yeah. And Heineken have. Six brands. Mm. Oh, you, oh, you don't like Heineken. One alternative. We've got a yeah. Peroni. We've got a, a, a Moretti. We've got a Coors. We've got a... Um, like they've the got wedding, a ton of them. They're like the Wedding Band Association. Exactly like that. <laughs> will yeah. you stop? Association. They've, they've all, why, will why you would, stop? Why would it be a Wedding Band Association? They've got six or seven different bands. Just in case. <laughs> The Wind Man Association the ben- has about 400 bands right? the, yeah. the Bentley Boys yeah. Oh, oh wow, no, well, I saw the Bentley now. Boys I was at two weddings one day And they were playing both of them At the same wow. time Wow But a whole different people so, I want to circle back to, to, to the green beer Oh yeah It's yeah. marvellous Did you like that? I really No it actually it. is unreal I'm not just yeah. saying oh, I meant that. to get you to taste it out of the can Before you poured it So you go oh, That's really nice Because you can't see it I had a little drop There was a bit drop uh, I'm fucking out of it But even the It's only 4.5% What time of the year is it? And the The Pain relief and the antibiotics. Oh, well, it's, about no, it's good for antibiotics. It's good for That's antibiotics. the end of the podcast. Did you, are you, are you, are you, do you see what I brought with me? Go on. I brought I brought an Imperial Stout, a 10.2% Imperial Stout. Can I try it? You can. That, I and I brought a Moccacino. I brought a Moccacino. Oh, this is not going to end well. Everybody wants a, a, a Moccacino. is like a light brown. It's like a light brown shoe. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's like a moccasin. But, 
<laughs> but it's got cream it's on the toast. It's a coffee. It's a coffee. It's a coffee. It's a coffee thing, it? stout. No. It's a coffee stout. It's amazing. Ray, you have to try that. No. I'll try the stout. But it'll right. wake, it'll wake up after the last beer. Come on, you're, no. You're, uh, Give me that jet black one there. I love the can. So the can's amazing. Right? That's Look at that. No one can hear you. I know. I'm back into it there now. <laughs> that, look at Christ. that. Should've black re- should have got a wee Alicia Keys mic. Switch it up uh, there, uh, that's, Jim. So that's, oh, black that's the black boar. Now that's the barrel aged black boar, right? Which means that we brewed it for about a day, a full day, <laughs> and then you put it into a, a barrel, a whiskey barrel, and the whiskey barrel gives it a load of whiskey flavours, vanilla, honey, kind of roast uh, chocolate flavours. Jesus. And it's outrageous stuff. Now that's one of the highest rated beers in the country within, within in Ireland. Um, you mean highest rated for its alcohol level, is it? No, highest rated in terms of users going on like they do on Airbnb or TripAdvisor, oh, yeah, yeah. but for beers. Am I going to have to pour that like I do a normal Guinness? You pour a sip of it and see if you like it and pour a sip for him and pour a sip for me. Actually. I'll be honest with you. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. My one. one, right? Yeah. It smells like those sweets that, that you wouldn't necessarily choose first off in a box of roses. That's the one. But then eventually you're down to it and you've no choice. Yeah, January, oh. January 12th or you're something. You're getting the hazelnut yeah. swirl. Yeah. <laughs> you, you package it, put them all together and make That's a present much? out of it. That's plenty. That's plenty. Now, okay. smell it. Get the nose into it. I'm going right. to stick my nose into this oh, shop. The, no, no, I'm a connoisseur. Tell us, tell us what you smell. Like, literally tell us what you smell. What does it remind you of? This is it reminds me of when my father used to bring me up to the... No, I'm a <laughs> <laughs> Up to the bog. <laughs> he brought you to the Can bog. I smell and it? I'll smell but it. the bog was on fire and it was all burnt turf. That smells a little bit coffee-ish as well. Coffee, bit of treacle maybe. That's what treacle, it is. Yeah, molasses. That's what it is. Treacle molasses, yeah. It's sort of rich, treacle. rich brown he sugar. You used to put it on yeah. uh, silage. silage. When it was wet. Yeah. You only put it on silage when it was really wet. Do you make silage water? Throw it out that can so, Do you know what we did actually? Bob take us up after we took the beer out of it, after thing. we took the beer out of the barrel, we gave the barrel up to Great Northern Distillery and they put whiskey in it, right? So it was a whiskey barrel. Yeah. We put b- beer in it and yeah. took the beer out and sent it back to the distillery and dipped a whiskey in it again and it made and amazing the, whiskey. And now the whiskey tastes like beer. And now the whiskey now the whiskey tastes like beer and we're releasing that in about three weeks' time, two weeks' time. The whiskey is that, is that not a load of bollocks? Of the white is that bollocks, no? The, where you put something into a wood casket and it... Well, Jesus, it's not bollocks, no. They'd have it in stainless steel otherwise. Mm. Yeah, I was going to say. No, yeah, yeah, no yeah. that's mad. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's a painful process because you lose a load of beer so it soaks into the soaks wood and, in, yeah. and, and, and then when you're emptying it, you never get it all out. And uh, and then it's a pain to hold with wooden barrels. You can't transport them around the place or they, they move over and back and shake and liquid comes out. Yeah. So you, uh, you have a pain to hold. You're only storing it in it to get the flavour and aroma and, and mouthfeel out of it. We've gone past useful podcast content. <laughs> oh, right. He's right. Hang on now. He's right. I have and I know drink is involved. But yeah, but I didn't realise that three boys sitting in a room Ray, needed an adjudicator there drinking, who's deciding what drinking, conversation God, works thank God, or not. Thank, oh, come, thank God you've got a guide for us. Sorry yeah, now. Jesus yeah. like. So. Do you want to take out the agenda again so and tell us what is right to be talking about, Ray? <laughs> Three boys can't have a chat anymore, like. Your man couldn't here, get away with it. That's a full civil servant thing to do, isn't it? <laughs> well, we're, 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 Excuse we have, me? Yeah. Is, this, is this part of um, what we... <laughs> the, the, agenda. the scope The scope of... This wasn't uh, on the minutes last week, Ray, <laughs> yeah, was it? Okay, fine. Okay, yeah, the, turn the actions, same crack. The big last. civil servant heavy <laughs> about. Peace, I think it's to called. To summarise Bob's contribution to today's uh, It was marvellous, I thought. Yes, it was marvellous. It was fair play to you. Thank you for coming in. It's very kind of you. Uh, honestly, you're the CEO of a, of a rather large... Uh, brewing conglomerate Commercial it's, director Yeah it's very very <laughs> rare That a man of your stature Will come in Would, would grace yeah. Would grace us with your presence But you know it's great to be here But but you know what In fairness One of the things we've done Tried to do more and more We do a bit with Sligo Rovers A bit of sponsorship mm. And a bit of stuff With their podcast And we do a bit of stuff With uh, the likes of Comedy mm. uh, Week The mm-hmm. Comedy Festival in Sligo Which was a fantastic initiative In Sligo in February It is tricky Getting stuff up and, up and off the ground And that's one of the things We were very proud of Was to be involved In the likes of the Comedy Festival mm-hmm. And see it come to life like that mm-hmm. The lads in the showgrounds There seems to be a, a groundswell Of stuff around Happening around Sligo Rovers And the showgrounds And so we don't have Like budgets Big budgets for sponsoring stuff But where you can get involved And enable and help yeah. Other projects in the community In the locality In the region You try to get involved that means you do get asked to do an awful lot of stuff and you can't do all of it. Not all yeah. of it's appropriate for an alcohol company. We're trying to stay out of the stuff yeah. that isn't appropriate, yeah. you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Big crest sponsorship. Can't well, now, do it. Now, now, Bumblebee it, Children. Uh, sponsored it, by yeah. White Hack Brewery. <laughs> yeah. For all the dads out 10. there. 10.2% Imperial Stout. <laughs> no, but may, may not drive accurately. The, the, the one thing I would say to you is uh, the League of Ireland, though, uh, sticks to that. That is growing huge, man. It, it is, and it does need... Obviously, you can't drink at games, though. That's the thing. Well, you 
you can't. Well, you, yeah, but they, you can't. You know. But like, yeah, it's. I think that may, needs to maybe be looked at immaturely in terms of how you drink at games, yeah. or how you, how alcohol is enjoyed alongside sport. Because yeah. a lot of times it's abused. It's like yin and yang. It's it's it's, mm. it's either completely over the top or or it's banned. You know, yeah. and that's not kind of sensible behavior either. Mm. But yeah, we don't uh, we don't over involve ourselves directly in the club. We involve ourselves with the supporters club and try and do have our contribution that way you know yeah um but yeah look look we're, we're delighted to be involved in whatever we can kind of help out with in the community in sligo uh, and anything that gets your brand in front of people it's a challenge constant challenge yeah keeping your brand in front of people making sure people know where to get your beer i know a good idea what's the good idea so myself and luke stevani yeah friend of the podcast that's right le- last night we were in a filling station in grange and uh, we? No, well, they were in the toilet the life in the station. Station. We were both in the, fil- in the toilet In the filling station <laughs> yeah. Not to go into ward here But he said Have you seen the wonderful graffiti That's in the cubicle And I said no I have not And he said come here and behold oh, So yeah. I, f- I wrapped up And I went round And I looked And I seen play, and, it, yeah. and the graffiti read in, in black marker Harvey Norman Ireland Harvey Norman Sligo read right. Harvey Norman Sligo. I was in that joke. Yeah. Commercial graffiti. So what I'm no. saying to you is, could you not go around? Because that's one place every fella visits at least once in a week, which is a, a finish <laughs> <The finished station. laughs> in the So why why don't you just just it wouldn't take you long, a couple of weeks, you could tip around every filling station in Ireland, just write <laughs> white hag beer. Well, it is funny though. You never Mark get the blame for it either. No, but it's on my handwriting. Uh, tr- actually, I didn't think of that. Yeah. Harvey Normans are big, they're a big outfit. You know, where'd you get the name White Hag? Like? Yeah. Do you know what White Hag means? No. no, Mother Nature. Oh, she's the mother of everything that was created on this earth. Also, yes. Also, women originally made beer, not men. So women did the cooking, and they made the beer. No, but when I they made the beer, when they, when, when they made beer, when they made beer, they were seen as witches because remember, alcohol was a magical substance it that got you intoxicated. Yeah, yes. So th- it, there's a science behind it. Before science could be explained, mythology explained it. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. The clouds were, uh, God's getting angry and that kind of crap. Yeah. Uh, Stephen Fry is really good at explaining this. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> but but the, the, but women would have had a reputation as being witches or being uh, sorceresses. Mm-hmm. And and would you know some of them would have been respected for making good alcohol. You made alcohol and someone died, she got burnt at the stake type of thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, and you got to bring, like there's a, a, a little element of respect for females in the brewing industry which has been lacking for you know maybe 200 years but yeah. but prior to that was prim- they were the primary beer makers so yeah it's recognising the Is it all girls female. out in Ballymote now that's doing it? We've a couple of girls out there oh, really? uh, yeah there's a couple of uh, couple of girls working it there's a uh, actually the, there's a qualified female brewer who's essentially office based she does all the planning for yeah. beer brewing um, and she's really good at she's qualified distiller and brewer who works with us Erica um, Jeez that's not something that a girl would be Guided into in secondary school, you could make beer. You could go Derby. Yeah. A load of alcohol. Derby, you could make beer for a living. Well, would it be? Well, here's a good Where one. Where would we sell it? Would it be yeah. that? Um, I mean, if you go by the history of it as well, is that they make us, fellas, drink us? Do you know? Yeah. Would you find that most of your ah uh, uh, girls drink yeah. it too though? The girls do drink it. You know what? Mm. We did a bit of we did a bit of research and we found that women were open to drinking our beer. Were very actually excited about our beer, in a way that the researcher would have said other beer brands don't rate as highly with women. Oh. Now, it may be because of the name or maybe because of the colours and patterns we use. Yeah. Maybe or because of the openness of the brand. Maybe you're Re- just a cute really, guy, Bob. Re- Who knows? Really sexy owners. <laughs> <helps. Cute guys. laughs> yeah. What's the biggest component? Yeah. But, like, but, but, but they, 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 he really found this and he said that's a huge opportunity to explore is, is wh- why do women find yeah. themselves attracted to yeah, your beer? Yeah. Mm. Uh, which doesn't naturally happen. We didn't set out to design a beer to... For the uh, ladies. For the ladies. Yeah. But, 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 it, but it happens. Mm. And... Like we didn't set, so we've a little fawn. I didn't fucking tell you this. This this could be good for your teeth and other things. No, you'll um, save that tooth. Yes, little fawn is gluten free. What does that mean? Uh, it means there's no gluten in it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I thought is this mic Sorry, working? Man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Come here, we'll get you. A, we'll get a little whiteboard. We we'll draw it up it's, for you. Right? It's gluten free, right? But here's I still don't understand how why why gluten is such an evil thing. <laughs> if you, if you I could gluten, be very naive If you were gluten intolerant it, You'd know about it Okay Yeah you'd be in the toilet More than once a week Is that what uh, happens <laughs> Well it's one of the things One of the byproducts apparently. So you're saying the white, But there's also lots of things White egg, little fawn Little fawn you And ninth wave yourself. Right Our two biggest beers So we were asked to go to a music festival Last year with the beer uh, Beyond the Pale Festival Down in Wicklow Oh right? yeah So uh, you lads were involved in it And they said Look you know, would you be interested In pitching for it I said sound 
Uh, they said, have you gluten-free beer? I said, do I fuck? Yeah. <laughs> sure, it doesn't sell. Sure, no one would buy that. Yeah. They were like, oh, we've a load of requests for it. And I said, ah, notions, just hipsters going along. Yeah, just eat, an- annoying you online, you know, because yeah, there's yeah. nothing else to be on Instagram only asking you for gluten-free beers. <laughs> and I says, no, we don't. And we were back in the office going, yeah, we must have a look at this because it's no more than non alt beer like you asked yeah. earlier on. Uh, we really need to look at this and understand, is there a gap in the market? So we got our beer tested. Not only one, but two of the beers tested gluten-free. And we've never changed a thing. They were naturally, never gluten gluten free. naturally gluten free. Anyways, we discovered two weeks after Beyond the Pale was over, right? Oh, but, but anyways, yeah, but anyways, yeah. it, we discovered it. We spent six more months testing it, and we've now just released it as gluten free. And apparently, it's making a huge difference. Them are the things you discover on the journey that you probably would try to figure out yeah, earlier yeah. if you could. You know, yeah. Um, yeah, it's mad stuff. It's awful crack as well making beer, as in genuinely making beer and trying to design beer and trying to. Um, uh, put together the beer, the product, because it's two things. It's a brand and it's a product. Product mm-hmm. has to be really good and the brand, the brand will attract you once, the product will attract you back. Yeah. Right? So you have to attract people in with a brand and, and brand behavior. The rest of it is make the juice good enough, make the beer good enough for people to go, that's my favorite beer. So how involved are you in the process nowadays still? Uh, we had a meeting this morning about planning all the beer to the end of the year, all the specials. I've got three collaboration beers that we need to make with different other breweries. We've got requests for different beer. I've already sold Christmas beer wow. to a guy, uh, to a red? big distributor. It is red. No, no we're it's a red. It's a red IPA. We have a Christmas beer going to a, a place uh, who who needed a book day in February because it needs to ship in the end of August to hit all the distribution yeah, points. Yeah. You could sell the Paddy's beer with it. It's red and green like. You could, no. you could. Christmas colours. That's a no, no, yeah, there's something in that. Let's start talking about saving Christmas the box. Well. It's a funny, yeah. he brought that up, uh, he saw it and brought it up and I was like, we'll probably do that for Paddy's Day. He said, yes, this and, is a good idea. And Christmas. Mr. Bob. Maybe not Christmas, no, mm. but uh, but I'll talk to you about other beers, maybe Ray. Oh, we, I, I think Ray, between myself and Ray, we could have some good beer ideas. You have beer well. ideas. Well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> We was, had, yeah, we have people come to us with, with ideas for beer. Oh, that must be the best, it. though. When oh, people yeah, come yeah, to yeah. With oh, ideas, yeah. Shite ideas. Is there any chance you'd make one with pepperoni? <laughs> 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 An old 12 fish. Would you, pepper- Would you do one pepperoni? with a banana? Oh, Would you put pepperoni oh, in the. Oh, sorry, oh, we're making a banana and chocolate beer oh, later oh, in the year. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We are. We're actually making a banana and chocolate. I love I love Have you ever tasted banoffee pie? Oh, it's my favourite. Imagine banoffee pie. Imagine. See that beer you just tasted, the stout with banoffee. Oh. It's outrageously oh, I good. I that without salt. That yeah. is beautiful. Yeah, we've made, go. we've made, so in the stouts, we made Black Forest Gatto. No yeah. way. So Kirch, which is like a cherry puree. Oh yeah, and, I like that. And, and cream and yeah. chocolate in the stout. We've made a salted caramel stout. Uh, we've done a chili and chocolate one. Jesus so chili, Christ. so spice and You've chocolate. You've too much cinnamon. time in your hands. <laughs> Like after Guinness, back in 1799, make it black and put a head in it. What? Yeah, no. Done. What what convinced you that anyone would want to drink this fucking concoction? Actually, we leave it with this question. You can make a selection box. You could. We do make a selection box every year. Every Christmas. Every Christmas. Jesus. It's like like the orange beer. You wouldn't believe the amount of people. There'll be a certain amount of tins that'll be left behind. Oh, I don't like them. Yeah. We can leave it on this one. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. I want to ask you this question in good confidence now. Did you ever make... I was s- never near that. That, that, near no, that, that, that money, that money no, was no, only resting. Money, money wasn't even resting. <laughs> and, and it was a mall of money. Did, did you ever make a stout that was based on like a bog taste? A bog ale. Mm. Was we it? did. Mm. Did you taste that? A red a red, red bottle. Mm. No, I know I can't tell the story now. Go on. No, it wasn't in a red bottle. It was, was on it, a draft. I got it on a draft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been. I'm talking eight Fuck. years ago, nine years ago. Go on, tell the story. You have no, to. No, I don't want to. You have to now. You've, it's you've... not insulting. We don't make it anymore. Okay, good. I wanted to buy. Um, I won't name the place, even though we've already named it. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to buy a uh, pint stout, and they said we don't have Guinness. And I was like, well, that's disappointing. Years ago now, and they said, but I do have this other stout though. Would you like to try it? I was like. I'm young and hip and just moved to Sligo. Of course I will. Yeah. <laughs> From Roscommon? And Nicola From Roscommon. Yeah. And I'm not joking. It was the only time I was ever ignorant in a pub. I, I drank it and I went up to the young barmaid <laughs> and I said to her, <laughs> I really hope this wasn't your beer. Don't serve that to anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> <Everyone> I'm <laughs> from the HSE. <laughs> It actually tastes like I was drinking bog water out the out the Battle Drimley Road. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was coming. Honest to God. That wasn't ours. Oh, thank, thank no, God. No, right, okay. I've taste my whole life. Have you broke Roscommon yet? 
there's no her in Roscommon selling her beer. Thank God. Or that, beer, at or, least I know. Or, or any decent beer for that At least matter. I know they're the same as when I left them. I, years I, the ago. only thing, we used to sell lambs to bring, bring lambs down to that league in Roscommon. Oh, yeah, oh, to be slaughtered. Oh, Jesus, that was a Man, I used to play journey. football and hurling across the, the smell. The smell. The smell of that Sheer league. pile of smell. And, and that was before There's a that sheep kid in factory that league, like, and the football Keypack. pitches right across... A sheep oh, sack. Keypack. Keypack. It's, it's, a, keep it's, a, keep pack. it's a wild spot. Oh, man, the smell. Okay, so anyway, listen, that was... It's like that was episode 236. We'd yeah. like to thank Bob Coggins for coming all the way in from Benny Moore. For the first three hours. Of go, the first drink red, uh, go drink green beer for the green weekend. Beer for the weekend. Yeah, yeah thanks for, and thanks for giving the shout about the green beer. To make sure that we'll put a picture. I'll send you a picture of the thing. for. Yup, yeah, yeah, dead right. Come here, um, Bob, fair before we leave, you. we always say a fair yeah. play to me. So you just follow our lead. You yeah. say it last. Yeah, and then we last. all shout, good luck. That's yeah, all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Bob, thanks for coming in. Ray, fair play to me. Fair play to me. Fair play to me. Good luck. Good luck now. Good luck, mate. Yep. The Kendi and Rainbow Podcast, sponsored by Maeve's Cozy Front Lounge.